Hey, do you know how to hold the knife properly or cut properly? Perfect! You said no, right? Then this video is gonna be for you. Today I'm gonna teach you how to hold the knife. Oh. I'm Jet or Mr. Reactive. In this channel, I teach basic cooking. In this video, you're gonna learn how to properly hold the knife, how to sharpen the knife, and how to cut it. Also, if you finish the video, you'll learn the rolling technique, up and down, and five volt chopping. These are the cutting techniques we use to cut foods in order to make delicious meals. So yeah, let's do it! So just take a look to those people who can cut properly and you know, you can use this knife properly, right? How can they do that? That's the first question I ask. The thing though, it's, it is really easy. I'm actually here right now and I'm the one who's teaching. First step is uh, wash your hands and second is don't ask what. Just kidding, it's really important to wash your hands every time we go to the kitchen or before we touch anything in the kitchen. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways how to hold the knife properly. So the first one is holding it like this, right? Just watch my hand. Right, you want to grip it like that, then your two fingers is going to go there. Every time we do this, we stabilize the knife and it doesn't go like this, right? Compared to holding it like this. You just go like that and you might drag it to like... The second one is kind of like the same idea. This one is you're going to choke on the blade. Put your two fingers here, then you're going to grip it here. This is the one I prefer and this is how I actually cut the ingredients. I have most of the control with the knife. I want you to try this and actually try to feel it, right? So if you're the one who's going to do it, it feels like, oh, it makes sense. The reason why we hold our knife like this is first is to control our knife. If you control your knife, everything will be easier. Other things, you can cut the veg and fruits in the right way, right? You'll feel that you're cutting it right. Third thing is you don't injure yourself, right? Um, you'll be safe using if you do this. You, you You'll have more confidence um, using the knife sooner. The last thing is you, you're gonna look like a pro, right? <laughs> yeah, boy. So now you know how to hold your knife. It's real simple. The other things I can show you is to sharpen your knife. We're gonna use steel. This is not the best for sharpening a knife. The best one is a whetstone. You wanna hold it like this and you wanna hold your knife properly. Tilt it like 15 to 20 degrees if I remember. Slide the blade of the knife like this. It's going downwards, it's going like this. Alright? But my advice for you is to do this one. You want the blade away from you, not, not the one I'm doing, right? This one I'm doing is really dangerous. From the very end, here to the tip, and same goes to the other way, right? Does that make sense? I'm gonna show it again, one more time. You're just gonna tilt it a bit. You wanna do it that way. Um, some people do it this way, so it's away from you and you don't cut yourself. Now I'm gonna teach you the cutting techniques that we actually use in order to cut any veg, any poultry or any meat in the kitchen. I'm gonna show you the three cutting techniques that we use all over the world. If you stick at the very end of the video, I'm gonna show you some application so it makes sense how we do this. So let's do it. So the first thing is this thing called rolling technique. The idea of the rolling technique is you can see the motion of the knife that's kind of like rolling like that. The first step is holding your knife properly and you're gonna cut like this. Then you go back, then you cut it like this, again. Like you see how it rolls? Let's say I'm cutting something, right? Rolling technique's ideal for uh, small vegetables or anything that you can just slice away. Say um, green onions, right? You're just gonna hold the green onions like this, then boom, boom, boom. All right, next thing is called up and down technique. This technique's meant for like a, a big vegetable or like taller vegetable. Like can you imagine you use rolling technique if the vegetable's this high, right? Up and down is basically up and down, right? You go like that, right? The thing is really simple. It's not rocket science, right? And the last thing I'm gonna show you, it's called the pivot technique. Um, basically, pivot technique is when you're like um, dicing a bunch of onions or let's say bacon bits, right? You're gonna hold the knife properly. You're gonna put your one hand in here. Then you're gonna cut it like that, right? There you go. Cool, eh? Now watch your parents or someone in the TV or media who's cutting something and you'll see this technique. If, if you don't see this technique, it's the chance that you'll, you know, you teach them. Show them my video. So yeah, that's how really simple it is. Before we go to application, I'm gonna give you more tips. Always remember that you wanna sharpen your knife. It's really common and you, you'll know why. Second thing is you always wanna practice every day. The best thing is you can help in your kitchen or you can apply whenever it's the closest restaurant to you. Except McDonald's, they don't cook shit there, okay? They make shit in there. <laughs> Third thing is always be prepared because see, any anytime you will cut yourself. Right? Even professional cut themselves still. Right? It's just part of it. Don't just cut it too bad. So yeah, let's do the rolling technique. I have a piece of celery here. I just want to cut the end. And I'm going to show you how it goes. I want you to watch your hand like this. Like you're grabbing your knee. Every time you cut something, so you don't cut your finger. The rolling technique, it, it goes like this. 
So if I cut like that, it started slow, then you can go faster. It depends how good you are. You can see how it goes, right? Also, we can do that to onions too, right? If we can just slice it like this. If the ingredient's too tall and you cannot really do that slicing, is I recommend the up and down technique. Up, down, up, down, up, down. Pivot technique, it's let's say you want to chop it more, like smaller than that. Like I said, I hold it like this. You put your hand in there and boom. And boom. You can go all around to like chop it, right? It's more chop. Uh, I hope it's really simple to you, right? And I hope I deliver it right. Now what I want you to do is use it, right? Use it properly or teach it to someone. I hope you like this video and I hope you comment down below. Also subscribe for more uh, basic cooking. My name is Jet and you